シカムサシは奇妙な戦いの因果を感じ取っていたこれまで戦ってきた数々の強敵それはムサシの望んでいたより強き者に相違ない剣客たちであった彼らとの戦いは苦難の道ではあったが決して後悔を抱かせるものではなかった自らが望んだ道であったしかしそれは果たして必ずしも自らが選びつかみ取ってきた同票であったのか何か未知なるものの導きによる結果ではないのかその疑惑をどうしても拭い去ることができない京都を立った後武蔵はさらなる西国の地武前小倉にたどり着いたなぜこの土地に足が向いたのか自覚こそなかったまあここにもまた確かに武蔵が戦うべき相手が待っていたのだったその男の名は佐々木小次郎美目修麗にして生まれついての天才と称しうる至高の剣客であるそして幸いにも小倉藩には武蔵の武名は高らかに伝えられており彼と佐々木小次郎による試合の場が速やかに与えられることとなったこの運命もまた何らかの導きによるものかしかし最強の敵との戦いを前にした時武蔵の迷いは消えていた闘志に胸を躍らせ小次郎との試合場船島へ渡る武蔵がこの試合の勝敗において小倉藩の利権を得ようとする家臣一派の資格が彼を待ち受けていた。武士に語れると困るお方がいるのでな悪い足止めをさせてもらう Alright, chapter 7 Luckily I don't have to do the super small annoying level I was talking about I mean <coughs> I mean other characters will have to use that level but At least I went with Musashi, which I wanted to beat this in one run, so. There's that. And, um. In terms of achievements, I'm actually not going to get anything, um, for beating the game with Musashi on hard mode. The only achievements, um, in terms of story mode are beating the, the game,、uh, with the character the first time, which you can always do whatever difficulty you want. So I guess technically you could unlock those achievements on easy. Um, and then there's beating all the. Um, all the characters' story on either normal or difficult. And they don't stack like modern games should. So you have to do it separately on both normal and difficult mode. So this is basically the beginning of my difficult、um, achievement mode run. I, I didn't see the point in run, uploading the normal one.、Um, I was still learning, still experimenting, and it's, this is probably going to be about half the time it took. Anyway,、um, yeah, I, I think I'm slowly deciding. That the other characters are just gonna be、um, just the game's audio. I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'm having fun discussing this, but I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I, I'm kind of running out of things to talk about. Like, that, I mean, I'm either tired or there's just not that much to talk about in this game as I thought about. Like, I might do some sort of smarty, fartsy follow up video explaining. Why this kind of game is good. Why I like this game. Why you should play niche games. Why you should play poorly reviewed games. But, at, at least in regards to the core gameplay, I mean, if this is how I'm choosing to play the game, everything was explained in the first few videos. Like, let's try something different. Let's, let's parry this guy's attack. I'm not trying to be snobby, I just. Something different might be interesting to watch. And then this is how long it takes. So, if I'm a defensive fighter and I'm impatient, I'm gonna get my ass kicked, which I am impatient in this game. So, come on, attack me so I can parry you. This is what I'm talking about. Like, 
tell me the advantages of playing this game as maybe you're supposed to. That took s fucking ten times longer than it needed to to kill a guy. Sure, I built up a bunch of stamina and now I'm rebuilding building health. But you know how much I wouldn't have taken any damage if I just killed him this way. Like, there's no point. Th like, I, I am very much on the side of the fence where I believe that the developers wanted gamers to play the game as I do. Maybe not solely, but to some extent, like, to some extent, guard canceling was put in the game. If it was an accident, they built the rest of the game around it to some regard. But there's no way that you should go through this game fair. You have to take advantage of that. But I gotta kill Kojiro, which sucks because I love this guy so much. どこ Alright, so, this guy's fucking awesome. Um, I mean, I'm gonna kill him, just like everyone else. But, uh, at least in terms of, like, the moveset, he is the fucking best character in the game. His sword is, like, one and a half times longer than everyone else's. And now he's dead! But he's great, I assure you. He's awesome. Man, what a fucking twist. I was so into this game's story, and then these fucking... Just fucking threw that at me. How could I have seen that? Uh, it's so shitty. Um, I don't know how the book is. Again, I don't know the name of the book, but it's... Every fucking character story ends with this. It's, this guy, Nen Amijin, fucking is the reason behind Sword Sword and, and everything. And they, they reuse it, and it's fucking stupid... Uh, but it's a great way to end it in terms of an easy last mission. Um, there we go. Game beat right there. Cutscene. この道は俺が武芸者として生き
地があるということかならば行くか山本武蔵Alright, so that is a full playthrough of Musashi's story mode in Kango Legend of the Nine for the Xbox 360. Um, I guess I'll chat over all of these credits, because I've never actually seen all of these credits. I like the ending music. Um, that's, a, that's a positive I could say about the game. Um, again, I'm kind of going back and forth with whether or not I should upload either all of the characters or or just be done right here um i mean i don't really know like i'm big into gamer score so i mean i know for a fact i'm going to play the rest of the characters and complete this game just to, just to do it but i don't know if i should just upload the footage because that's kind of repetitive i don't know if I should just buck up and find something to talk about as I play the other characters I I don't know I mean if hopefully as I upload this throughout the week I uh, you, you guys give me something to go off of hopefully you guys don't unsubscribe because it's it's not really about spec ops the line but I mean I want to know I mean if this kind of thing interested you I have a shitload of other games that I can do a similar style with but I really the main thing I want to know is whether or not I should do the other characters so at least until I upload this part of the series I will stop in terms of Kango Legend of the Nine. So I'm sorry you had to go through eight episodes of this if you watched all of them, but really let me know, because I, I don't like the idea of just uploading gameplay. That's really not something I want to get into. I'm not one of those guys who buys a new game on day one, records gameplay, and then gets 6, 600,000 hits off of that because because people want to know what a game looks like. But, I mean, if this is super boring, I'm sorry. It's just... It's really the only game I've been playing lately other than, like, Skyrim. And without a beautiful voice, I really don't feel like doing voiceovers for Spec Ops The Line. So, just just let me know. I need something to do. I need something that I can consistently upload. And if it means going to play Operation Darkness or War is Orochi 2 or fucking... Let me look at my shelf. Or Blade Storm. Or the Godfather game, or Guilty Gear 2, or fucking Def Jam Icon. I mean, I, I'll do that. I will play shitty games. I will play old games, and I will love the fuck out of that. But if, if it's something you don't want to see, if you don't want to see me... Well, you know what, I don't want to base it on you. I'm probably going to play all of those shitty games at some point. But, um... And I hate calling them shitty games, but a lot of those were. I don't know, um... Just let me know in the comments... Um, just let me know if this was worth watching or was interesting. I hope I provided some kind of worthwhile discussion during all of that. And if not, I'm sorry. But now you know what Kengo Legend of the Nine is. It's a game. Go buy it. Thanks for watching, everyone.